All of them here are the yeah. of the Jewish people. Just before Passover, tensions are high at Columbia University in New York City. Protests against Israel's war in Gaza are now in their sixth day, and there are concerns about the safety of Jewish students. Protesters want Columbia to stop supporting companies that do business with Israel. Columbia switched to mandatory remote learning today after accusations of physical intimidation and anti-Semitism. The protesters are also camped outside the Schwartzman Center at Yale University in New Haven, Connecticut. 45 people were arrested during the protest this morning. The demonstrators are upset because the university committee refused to divest from military manufacturers. Yale and Columbia are just two of several schools where tensions are running high. College campuses in our area are on alert as well. The CBS Philadelphia reporter Josh Sanders spoke with Jewish students on Penn's campus as they prepare for the start of Passover tonight. A quiet prayer as we walk through Penn's campus. Spring weather brings peace for students like senior Ezra Troy, preparing to celebrate the Jewish Passover with loved ones. A fire outside the university's Center for Jewish Life flickers in memory of Jewish liberation. But that peace is fleeting with the tension of pro-Palestinian protests and the rise of anti-Semitism on college campuses, like what's played out over the weekend at Columbia University. As I look up to Columbia and other campuses around the country, I'm glad that, that it hasn't yet come to this campus, but I'm scared for my friends on other campuses who are Jewish and being told to leave because they can't guarantee their own safety. Since the October 7th Hamas-led attacks, Jewish students like Ezra Troy described living in fear. I have family that lives in Israel. I've been in Israel many times. I, I spent a year there, and when people chant that and they want the state, they want Jews to be literally run out of the state and pushed into the water and killed, that, that to me is very scary. Today, University of Pennsylvania officials sent an email to the community addressing the anti anti-Semitism at Columbia University and Passover, saying in part, it has been a very difficult year on campus, and we are so proud of the work we have done to support students through it all. Despite all of the issues, our students are thriving. It's been a semester, I think, of growth and dialogue. I've had a lot of good conversations with people from the Muslim Students Association, um, and I think the tone on campus has been much uh, calmer and more productive. Freshman Benny Rahm says while every Passover is a reminder of Jewish redemption, this one reminds him not to take freedom for granted. As with every Passover holiday, I'll be thinking of right how thankful I am to be free and free as um, an American citizen to exercise uh, my liberties and use them uh, for the service of God. But I'll also be thinking of my uh, brothers in Israel who are uh, displaced by war. And as that flame flickers for this Passover season, both Ezra and Benny hope peace will break through the noise of hate. Josh Sanders, CBS News, Philadelphia.